favorite right-wing grifters have been indicted by the Department of Justice for pushing ro- Russian propaganda. And I'm not joking. We're talking Tim Pool, Dave Rubin, Lauren Chen, Benny Johnson, uh, so much more. It's 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 crazy. Uh, Tim Pool put out a statement. We'll read it in a little bit after we read the thing. An indictment unsealed Wednesday alleges a Tennessee content creation company uh, was the tool of a team of Russian propagandists used to infiltrate U.S. audiences with Kremlin-backed messaging. Uh, it's called Tenet. Yeah, Tenet Media, which is Lauren Chen's media company or Lauren Chen's husband's media company or maybe mixing it up with uh how um candace owen and and her husband's situation is he owns that uh, social media company they have been told by the kremlin to message certain things for years now and i feel like before we even even read this much i i feel like we kind of all we kind of all knew it right like i i don't i don't feel like anyone's shocked to learn this you know, we didn't we didn't necessarily have proof, but it's like I mean this is pretty fucking sussy stuff you got you got going on. Two Russian nationals who worked for Russia Today, a Russian state-controlled media outlet, were indicted on accusations they funneled nearly ten million dollars to a Tennessee-based online content creation company to publish English language videos on social media sites like TikTok, Instagram, X, and YouTube. The company's more than two thousand videos posted in the last ten months have been viewed more than sixteen million times just on YouTube, according to the indictment. The indictment unsealed in the federal court for the Southern District of New York doesn't identify the Tennessee company. But the descriptions of the indictment match those of Tennessee-based Tenet Media. Uh, I'm shocked the joke became reality. I'm not. Uh, The indictment states the company describes itself on its website as a network of heterodox commenters that focus on Western politics and cultural issues. Tennessee-based media company Tenet Media has the same message on its homepage. The indictment states that Tennessee media company uh, was incorporated around January 19, 2022, which matches records from the Tennessee Secretary of State's office. The indictment says the company applied to the Tennessee Department of State to conduct business on May 22, uh, 22nd. So, you know pretty quick after uh the two suspects are konstantin kalishnikov literally his his or her i guess i don't know konstantin kalishnikov is is this sounds like someone made a racist russian stereotype that's just a that's just a real person this sounds like this sounds like uh if you asked (laughs) if you asked jk rowling to name a russian wizard She'd be like, uh, I don't know, uh, Konstantin Kalishnikov, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this sounds made up. Uh, also known as Kostya and Elena Ivana Saeva. Afana Afana Saeva. Afana Saeva? I don't know. Uh, also known as Lena, according to the news release of the U.S. Department of Justice, they are charged with conspiracy to violate the Foreign Agents Registration Act and conspiracy to commit money laundering. Kalishnikov and Afanasieva. Afanasieva. Maybe that's it. Are both at large the release date? Oh, they're just fucking... They're, they're on the lam? They're out there running around? <laughs> we have Russian spies running around and on the Tim Pool compound. The FBI walks in. Doo, 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 doo. And Tim Pool is standing there, and un- and the camera pans, and under the floorboards are two Russian people, like Russian spies, being like, no, don't let them find us. Uh, the Justice Department will not tolerate attempts by an authoritarian regime to exploit our country's free exchange of ideas in order to covertly further its own propaganda efforts, and our investigation into this matter remains ongoing. I mean, that's rich for the United States to say, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we also can't allow it here. It's bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Hey, the Panthers who eat faces are out here and like, hey, look, I know that we do be eating some faces now and then, but it does not feel good to have our faces even gnawed upon a little. And uh, so I think we should all stop eating faces. I eat a face. Uh, that said, I mean, Russia is wrong here. <laughs> you can't do propaganda, okay? It's bad. You can't. You certainly can't do it as a foreign nation. Uh, this is funny as fuck, man. It's like idiocracy, but like more mundane and boring. Like <laughs> we have all the negatives and none of really the positives. 
In response to the allegations, Russia Today responds, responded with ridicule. Three things are certain in life. Death, taxes, and RT's interference in U.S. elections. The media outlet toward Reuters. Russia just saying, nah, uh is very classic. That makes sense. I mean, what else are they going to do? After Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, Russia Today, RT, was forced to cease formal operations in the U.S., Canada, and the U.K., and the European Union, the federal indictment stated. In response, Russia Today created, in the words of the editor-in-chief, an entire empire of covert projects designed to shape public opinion in Western audiences, uh, said in the indictment. Uh, one of those projects was Tennessee-based online content creation company, uh, Tenet. The company launched in November 2023. So there's going to be more, obviously, right? One of these projects. There's going to be more of them. And I can already think of a few people... <laughs> That might be on this kind of shit. Uh, two Russian spies is Tim Pool, Rocky, or Bullwinkle. My vote is that Lauren is Bullwinkle. She's the tall. I don't. Rocky and Bullwinkle, like the the old the old timey cartoon, the Canadian one. When when we were when we were kids, didn't didn't Brendan Fraser do a live action of that? I never would have thought of that again. Uh, many of the videos contain commentary on events and issues like immigration, inflation, domestic and foreign policy in the U.S., according to the indictment. Uh, Afanasieva allegedly posted and directed other staff members of the Tennessee company to post content that aligned with the Russian government's call. Literally, literally there at the company telling people what to do. That's fucking hilarious. What the fuck was that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't push that. According to the news release, after March 22nd terrorist attack on Moscow music venue that killed more than 130 people, Afanasieva asked one of the Tennessee company's founders to blame the attack on Ukraine in the U.S. Oh, that might be a great time to go here. <laughs> that may be a great time to go to this Tim Pool clip. Thank you, the article. Check this out. Isn't this weird? They know it. But I don't know that it matters anymore. This is psychotic. Ukraine is the enemy of this country. Ukraine is our enemy, being funded by the Democrats. I will stress this again. One of the huh? greatest enemies of our nation right now <laughs> is Ukraine. <laughs> is he trying to do a fa He's like, I'm, I'm mad. Look, it's, I'm emotional. Watch. This is psychotic. Ukraine is the enemy of this country. <laughs> he even hit his desk in a way that didn't. It sounded like he pulled the punch on the desk. <laughs> He's like, God dang it! I'm real. I'm real. I'm I'm testy today, boy. It really grinds my gears. This whole Ukraine business. God damn it, dude. This is so stupid. And like the millions of people that watch all this content are now going to go in full dissonance mode. I'm sure some of them will shake off the tree, you know what I mean? Like, you can't... I don't think 100% of Tim Pool's audience is going to see this kind of news uh, and just totally fucking blinders it, but a fucking lot of them are going to... Most of them will. And this is like... All the indictments in the world can't undo it because some of those people are just locked the fuck in. Some of them just... They're, they're clamped down on, on these dumb ideas. Ukraine is our enemy being funded Why, by the though? Democrats. I will stress it, uh, Ukraine is our enemy because they got attacked by Russia is such a weird thing. You've seen some content creators uh, on multiple sides of the aisle have similar takes to Tim Pool here. I'm wondering how many of those people um, may be also swept up in such uh, allegations again one of the greatest enemies of our nation right now is ukraine they are expanding this war now don't get me wrong i know you've got criminal elements of the u.s government pushing them and guiding them and telling them what to do huh? ukraine is now accused a german warrant issued for blowing up the nord stream pipeline oh okay in uh, 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 triggering this conflict <laughs> triggering the conflict uh everyone with the news broke timmy is peddling propaganda i am shocked shocked well not that shocked tim pool acting like a ministry of truth member for real ukraine is the greatest threat to this nation and to the world <laughs> to the world ukraine okay dude <laughs> that's some wacky shit we should rescind all funding and financing pull out all military support mm -hmm. and we should apologize to russia they know it. <laughs> Apologize to Russia. Oh, no, not Russia. 
Around the period beginning in October 2023 through August 2024, Russia Today sent wire transfers to the Tennessee company totaling approximately $9.7 million. Between October and August? Jesus. Which is about 90% of the company's total bank deposits. So otherwise, they would have made, obviously, a lot less money. Uh, the wires came from a shell company in Turkey, the United, a the UAE, and uh, Meridius, and described the payments to the purchase of electronics, according to the news release. Wow, they really did try to bury this, too. Holy shit. The indictment states that the Tennessee company's two founders masked the company's true source of funding when contracting with two commentators, falsely stating its funding came from the private investor named Edward Gregorian, a fictional persona? Edward Gregorian? Huh. They they made up a uh, a benefactor? So it's like every time they say, like, oh, look at the George Soros fucking left. I mean, it, it's super classic, but when every accusation is an admission, when it's just like, look, look over there, they're doing, they're doing, it's like foreshadowing in a book, man, except like even more hammy. This is bad. The FBI is investigating the case. Covert attempts to sow division and trick Americans into unwittingly consuming foreign propaganda represents attacks on our democracy. Uh, FBI Director Christopher, Christopher A. Ray said in a news release. I agree with that, by the way. Uh, today's actions show that as long as foreign adversaries like Russia keep, enga Russia keep engaging in hostile... Uh, influence campaigns they are going to keep running into the fbi we will continue to do everything we can to expose the hidden hand of foreign adversaries like russia and disrupt their efforts to meddle in our free and open society um i'm not surprised at all by this i i you know the american government being like don't don't do <laughs> hostile influence campaigns in foreign countries like we do that all the time we've done that forever but it does suck to it hurts to feel you know it's like a cheater getting cheated on it's not good. Two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> I just think it's funny that Tim Pool, <laughs> like they're all they're all indicted in this. So fucking funny. The Tennessee company neither disclosed to its viewers that it was funded by Russia Today, nor did it register with the Attorney General as an agent of a foreign principal, as required by law, according to the indictment. Two defendants each face up to twenty years in prison and on a charge of conspiracy to commit money laundering, and up to five years in charge of conspiracy to violate a foreign agent's registration act if convicted. Yeesh. Yeesh. Anyway, so Tim Pool put out a statement, which, of course, th this indictment didn't officially name him. But anyway, he's like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Fucking Israeli flag. He ha Wait, he has... <laughs> he put the Ukrainian flag in his bio? This fucking worm. He's just such a fucking slime bag. Like, literally, he just... Listen. But I don't know that it matters anymore. This is psychotic. Tim! Ukraine is the enemy of this country. Ukraine <laughs> is our enemy. What a fucking bag of slime. <laughs> Followed by Night's Watch. <laughs> My statement regarding allegations and the DOJ indictment. The, I wish I could do a Tim Pool impression. Being funded by the Democrats. I will Being funded by the Democrats. I can't do it. Should these allegations? Yeah, I can't. I can't sound like this guy. Should these allegations prove true, I, as well as other personalities and commentators, were deceived and are victims. I cannot speak for anyone else at the company as to what they do or what they are instructed. <laughs> so anyway, they, you were told to say this kind of shit. This is so fucking. I mean, gee, what a thinly veiled bag of shit. The Culture War podcast was licensed by Tenet Media. It existed well before any license agreement with Tenet, and it will continue to exist after any such agreement expires. Yeah, but the content on there was tailored and chosen by Tenet Media after you signed the contract, man. Just because you were doing a podcast and it got purchased. Like, huh? The only change with the agreement was that the location of the live broadcast moved to Tenet's YouTube channel. I and TCW never produced any content for Tenet Media. Never at any point did anyone other than I have full editorial control of the show and the contents of the show are often apolitical. Examples including discussing spirituality, dating, and video games. Yeah, apolitical. I'll stress again, one of the greatest enemies of our nation right now is Ukraine. Huh? How, how do you jive this, man? 
The show is produced in its entirety by our local team without input from anyone external to the company. TCW is separate is a se- is separate company, not a so okay, not associated with TimCast.com or any other properties. It exists uh, solely for production of the Culture of War podcast. Uh, that being said, we still do not know uh, what is true, uh, as these are only allegations. Putin is a scumbag. Russia sucks donkey balls. You can hear Tim Pool's voice. Donkey balls. And all that'll really throw him off the scent. This is some very yeah yeah I don't I don't like those guys at all. I suck yeah they suck uh, donkey balls. <laughs> and to the journalists who wish to jump the gun, create their own narrative, rely about this currently going on. You can eat my Irish ass. Nice. I know this is official DOJ release. Oh, okay. I didn't know this was a DOJ release. Do you think the DOJ might have done a little bit of homework though? I think so. This is so funny. So anyway, in response to all of this, the Blaze fired Lauren Chen today, which is hilarious. It's happened around lunchtime. <laughs> she, she, so she's part of this as well. Uh, a conservative America media company has fired one of the YouTubers implicated in an alleged Russian influence operation exposed by the U.S. Department of Justice this week. Uh, justice this week. Uh, Lauren Chen was an independent contractor whose contract has been terminated, Blaze Media CEO Tyler Carden said in an email to Semifar. Uh, Chen and her husband, Liam Donovan, are co-founders of Tenet Media. Okay, I was right. Uh, they're both part of Tenet Media, a previously obscure media company that paid eye-popping sums to right-wing influencers to produce videos that echoed Russian propaganda and other right-wing talking points, according to an indictment. Isn't that crazy? Whoa, dude, they just suddenly had millions of dollars? At their disposal? Pretty wild stuff. Uh, she also cor- contributed videos to Blaze TV and Arm of Blaze Media, which was founded by the former Fox News host and talk radio figure Glenn Beck, which was not mentioned in the indictment. The two Americans uh, were also not named in the indictment. The two Americans were also not named in the indictment, which instead charged two Russians associated with the state owned Russia today, money laundering violation foreign influence laws. Chen didn't respond to an inquiry from Semifar. <laughs> the Russian, here's the view, here's an opinion on it. <laughs> this is funny. The Russian government wildly overpaid for online videos that figures like Tim Pool and Benny Johnson would have made anyway. But the new indictment gets to the heart of one of the deep debates of American politics over the Russian role and rise of Donald Trump's right-wing populism. After 2016 election, many Democrats came to believe that Russian interference was the key factor in this election. Uh, this is also, like, proven, right? Anyway, fucking hilarious. She hasn't tweeted. She hasn't tweeted at all. Actually, I can check. She hadn't tweeted before I uh, I looked earlier today. Let me see. Let me see if she said anything today. Uh, July 9th? Yeah, she... she <laughs> September 4th? I'll tell you, though. She is, she's replied to me a few times. Where's she at? Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah. She just hasn't... She hasn't uh, said anything in, like, 24, 48 hours or so. Yeah. 24. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, she didn't take the Blaze out. <laughs> Blaze TV host. Whoops. You should probably take that off. You should probably change it to Russian asset. Anyway, so all your faves are uh, astroturfed Russian propagandists. That's crazy, dude. Can you believe that all these people that just randomly gained prominence were bankrolled by a foreign adversary? Pretty crazy stuff. 